in our constant quest to provide our customers with the highest levels of service, quality, and value, we present our Acme Furniture Assembly video series. In this Acme Assembly video, we're going to be putting together our model 10170B Allentown bunk bed, its side drawers that slide into the stairs, and its trundle drawer accessory that slides right under the bed for increased storage. Start by clearing the area where you will place the bed after it's assembled. Open the packages and separate the pieces by type and put the bag of small parts and fasteners on a small table nearby for easy access. Most Acme kits come with all the tools you will need for assembling the piece. However, it's always a good idea to have on hand a Phillips head screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and a small hammer. Begin by locating the headboard assembly and the side rails. Insert the half round nuts and wooden dowels into the ends of the side rails. Then attach the two rear side rails, one near the top of the headboard and one on the bottom with the long bolts. Now insert just the wooden dowels into the ends of the guard rails and attach the two guard rails to the rear of the headboard with the bolts provided. Now, attach the front set of side rails and guard rails to the headboard and mid footboard. Remember to insert the half round nuts and wooden dowels accordingly before attaching the rails. Once the rails are attached, locate the footboard attachment assembly and attach it to the bed with the two back bars. Remember once again, to insert the half round nuts and wooden dowels before attaching the rails. To keep the footboard assembly steady, first attach the bottom male drawer slider to the mid footboard and to the outside footboard. Then attach the front riser step panel in between each footboard assembly. This panel becomes the foundation for the stairs to the upper bunk. Continue to assemble the stairs by placing a horizontal step between the footboard assemblies and on top of the front riser panel. Now, Put the notched front riser panel into place in between the footboard assemblies and attach a horizontal step on top of it. Continue with the next three notched riser panels and steps. Now, slide the back panel into place. Next, slide the mid headboard panels into place and secure them with screws. Continue by attaching the upper guardrail support pieces to the front and rear guardrail assemblies. The top and bottom slat assemblies are then put into place, secured on each end, and attached with screws. When choosing a mattress for the upper bunk, make sure that the mattress, or mattress and foundation, does not exceed 9 inches in height and that there is at least 5 inches from the top of the mattress to the top of the guardrail. Now, assemble the drawers by attaching the drawer front and rear to a drawer side. Slide a drawer bottom into the assembly and attach the other drawer side. Turn the drawer over and attach the female drawer guide and then attach the handle to the front of the drawer.
slide the drawers into place, and the bunk bed assembly is complete. Now, let's assemble the trundle drawer. Start by attaching the wheels to the bottom of the two side trundle drawer frame pieces. Next, remove the drawer handles from the inside of the trundle front and relocate them to the outside face of the front piece. Then, connect the front and rear trundle frame pieces by attaching them to the two bottom pieces. Continue by reinforcing the drawer assembly by attaching the three slats to the front and rear trundle pieces. Now, lay the complete bottom panel on top of the slats and screw it into place. Next, slide the top divider and side pieces into place and reinforce the sides by attaching the angle iron pieces to the front of the trundle panel. When using the trundle with the Allentown bunk, insert the two wooden dowels into the bottom insides of the bed frame and slide the drawer into place. With a minimum of mechanical experience and using the included tools, each piece in this line is easy to assemble for just about anyone.